Well, hello. Uh, here's the next uh, yes or no issue for five minute treatment. Today's issue is, is Prince Andrew in legal trouble? Well, I guess we all know that Prince Andrew has spent much of his adult life uh, juggling relationships with dodgy people and also accusations of unseemly and at times even illegal behavior. And he didn't do himself any good in the famous uh, BBC interview featuring the famous Woking Pizza Express and the onset of excessive sweating. <laughs> so does all of this constitute a legal problem or is it just more of the usual royal hijinks? Well, let's look at the facts and the arguments as well. First of all, let's take a look at the yes arguments. Uh, some believe that he is not only badly behaved, but a criminal. Uh, most important, Andrew has been identified by the now famous Virginia Jufrey as a statutory rapist. She claims that he was imposed upon her for sexual congress <laughs> on a number of occasions in Florida when she was only 16 years old or younger. The problem for Andrew is that the age of consent in Florida is 17. Uh, the second point involves his relationship with the disgraced and now deceased pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. Not only does Andrew's long relationship with him, much of which he denies or tries to diminish, illustrate his proclivity for dealing with unpleasant and uh, dodgy people, but for a member of the royal family, it demonstrates an astounding lack of taste and common sense. Again, there could be a problem here in that he could be seen to have colluded with uh, felonious behavior on Epstein's part, both the act of uh, having sex with underage girls, but also the procuring of them for Epstein and, and the other famous passengers on the fabled uh, Lolita Express. Then there is Sunning Hill Park, affectionately known as South York's. This large house uh, was a gift to Andrew from the Queen, which he subsequently sold at an inflated price to a Kazakh billionaire under questionable circumstances. The transaction seems to have been linked to An Andrew's questionable behavior and search for fee income when he was trade ambassador. It has never been fully investigated. Uh, laws could well have been broken. And then on a more mundane level, he is being sued by the owners of a chalet in Switzerland, which he planned to buy but could not produce the balance owed for the purchase an ignominious situation for a member of the royal family. Well, there probably are other such situations that simply have not yet come to light. Andrew is a high-class grifter who has made a way of life of this kind of behavior. Okay, well, that's for the case for the yo people. What is the no case? No he is not in legal trouble. Well, first, Andrew has Buckingham Palace and the monarchy behind him. Uh, they know how to get out of these sorts of problems, and, and for the most part, the public will back him. So that seems pretty safe. Uh, second, he is only in legal trouble if he is charged or indicted by a grand jury in the U.S. Uh, this could arise from further developments on the part of investigating authorities in the U.S., and also on what facts uh, may emerge in the ultimate trial of Ghislaine Maxwell. So that could happen. Ah, but even if he were charged, he almost certainly, despite his statements to the contrary, would simply refuse to cooperate with the American legal authorities. Andrew appears as a member of the royal family to have some form of diplomatic protection, and in that respect cannot probably be forced to do anything legally. Well, gosh, what a, what a story this is. 
and of course I have a point of view about it. So what is what is my take? Well, it's just simply this. Andrew may never be formally charged with any crimes either in Britain or in the US. And even if he was, it is unlikely that he would be convicted of them. And even if he was convicted of them, he certainly would not be incarcerated. His problem is that he has already been convicted in a court of public opinion and there's no erasing that. Well, I'm sure there will be some people that didn't like that, but uh, <laughs> there it is. Uh, that's my position on the question. Uh, if you like it, uh, give me a like, uh, subscribe, please, comment, notify, and I'll see you at the next one.